So when it comes to working with digital stickers, one of the big questions I get is basically, how do you use them? Um, how do you export any of the ones that you create in Affinity Designer? And then how do you load them onto your iPad and get them into GoodNotes? So that's what we're gonna be looking at now. Basically, we have the Affinity Designer interface showcasing the two layouts that we've created with our digital stickers. So the important thing when it comes to the setup of these files is you wanna make sure all of your stickers, all of the different elements within the stickers, so the line work, the shapes, the text, that they are all grouped together. So to do this, I'm just gonna use my direct selection tool. I'm gonna to click on that T and then I'm gonna double click inside of my shapes that are surrounding that T. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna be holding shift. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go down to group. And this basically groups those elements together so it's almost like they're all grouped and stuck together and they can't come apart. So we wanna make sure that all of the elements within a sticker are all grouped together in one item. This is gonna be important when we go to export the files as PNGs. So I just wanna go through my whole file and just make sure everything is grouped. I have all of the elements together, nothing is missing, nothing is standing out. And then once I'm happy with that, I know all of the elements are grouped together, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna start my export process. To begin my export process, basically what we're gonna be doing is creating slices. Slices are basically um, just ways that I can export multiple PNGs on a page all at once. I'm gonna go to my pixel persona. It's those three circles um, that are interconnected. And then I'm gonna select my black selection arrow tool. And then I'm going to basically drag it over all of my stickers on this page. And then I'm gonna right click and hit create slice. And what this does is it basically creates a slice of each of the elements that I have on this layout and it pulls them into my layers panel so that I can then export them as individual PNGs all at once. It saves a ton of time versus doing each one individually. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go to my layers panel or my slices panel and I'm gonna make sure all of my slices that I want to have exported um, are selected. And I'm gonna go through really quick too and just check to make sure there's nothing funky going on. Once I know everything is okay, I'm gonna select all of my slices. I'll select my first one and then I'm gonna right click and select my last one and that allows me to select all of them together. And you'll see a big group of purple selections. And then I'm gonna hit export slices. And keep in mind, before I export my slices, I already had created a folder in my Skillshare course folder um, and I labeled it my digital sticker set and then within there I labeled a folder for PNGs and then in that folder I labeled page one and page two so that I have all of my PNGs organized um, by page by item so that it just makes it easier when I'm dragging them into GoodNotes. So once all of that is done I'll hit select or I'll select everything I'll hit export slices and then once I hit export, it'll give me my pop-up. I have to find the file that I would like to save them in. So in this case, in my Skillshare course five stickers page or stickers file, and then in my PNGs file, and then select page one. And then it'll export all of my elements. And then I'm gonna repeat that process for my page two. I'm gonna delete all of the slices that I already had, make sure anything else that is on that is deleted. And then I'm going to use my direct selection tool and basically drag it across that whole entire page of page two, right click, hit create slice, and then select export slices, and then go into my PNGs, select page two, and then hit export. And then I'm gonna go back into my Affinity Designer persona and I'm gonna export two full pages um, of these elements just as PNGs or JPEG, whatever you want, just so that I can place them into GoodNotes and use that as my size marker. So I'll hit File, Export. I'm gonna select PNG, and then I'm gonna select my first page, page one, and then I'm going to export it and have it saved in my full page PNG file. And then I'm gonna repeat the same process, File, Export, select sticker page two, and then Export and find my file. And I'm gonna put it in the full page PNGs and I'm gonna end it with a dash two so that I can differentiate between the two files. And then that's it. Once you look into your file folders, you'll be able to see all of your items and your files saved. So your full page PNGs. And then if you go into your PNGs file, 
and then you'll find all of your items and elements within the file folders that you save them to. The next step in this whole process is we want to export this now to GoodNotes. So we're going to be using the airdrop share function in um, Mac, but you could also um, email these to yourself and then download them or upload them to Dropbox and download them onto your iPad or even use something like Google Drive and then um, you know, upload them to Google Drive and then download them from your Google Drive to your um, iPad. But for this, but for this, we are going to use the share function. I'm going to select airdrop and then it's going to give me a pop up and I'm going to airdrop this to my iPad. I'm going to select iPad and then same thing for my second one. I'm going to hit click on it, right click, share, select airdrop, select my iPad and then it'll share it. And then I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of doing the individual items, I'm going to right click my PNGs folder and then right click and select share and then airdrop the entire folder. And I'm going to airdrop that into my iPad. And then what we'll see though is once it goes to my iPad, we're going to have to select a file area that we want to save it to. So once we've airdropped it, we will see this little pop-up on our iPad that basically asks us where we would like to save the file. So in this case, I'm just gonna save it to my file folder. Because I have something like Affinity Designer on my iPad as well, I can save it there, but you can also just create a file, um, a folder in your file system that'll allow you to access your um, anything that's like a PNG or a JPEG. Next, we'll go into actually how to import them and place them into GoodNotes. So the first step in this process is we're going to want to go into GoodNotes. If you have your own digital sticker set in or a digital sticker book in your GoodNotes file, I would suggest opening that. I'm just going to use one that I have on file. If you'd like to download a freebie one that I have, um, you can take the Skillshare course that is kind of like the full-blown version of what you're watching today. Um, I'll have a link down in the description box below. Or you can sign up for my email list and you can get access to a free digital sticker book that I'm using in this video today and you can access it for free. So I'll open up my digital sticker book in GoodNotes and I'm just going to pull up one of my sticker page mockups and I'm going to duplicate that so that I have a new one because I have one already with stickers on it but I want to duplicate it so that it's something new. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything off of this page by clicking on those three circles in the upper right hand corner. You'll get this pop up. You'll scroll all the way down to clear page and it'll delete all of the elements on your page. Once I'm done with that, I can begin pulling in my stickers. The way I do this is I like to use the side by side view on the iPad. So basically, whenever you have one app open, you can pull open another app or in this case the file folder system and drag it right next to what you're working on so you'll get like this double view. So to pull in your stickers all you have to do is actually um, go into the folders and drag them in but like I mentioned earlier I like to make sure the, the size is um, based on what my original file is. So I'm going to place those full PNGs that I sent to myself that are in my photos by clicking on the little photo icon and then you'll see a pop-up with um, pictures of whatever is most recent in your photo roll and of course the most recent thing are the stickers that I just sent myself the full pages I'm gonna click on that it'll give me this little pop-up and then I'm gonna resize it so that it fills the page and then I'll pull in my PNGs on top of this just as the size makes sense and I'll do that for the right hand side as well so then what we'll do is we will be pulling in our stickers from our PNG folder directly on top of this just so that we can size them appropriately. To do this all you have to do is click on the sticker file with your finger or with your stylus and then drag it on top of your page and then you'll get this you know your sticker might be bigger or it could be smaller. Um, if it's bigger all you have to do is resize it. If it's smaller resize it as well. Um, you exported these at high resolution, so they should be nice and clear and crisp. So what you'll do is, in order to resize them, you'll click on the lower left-hand corner. 
you'll see like a double arrow um, and this allows you to resize and you can just drag out to make something bigger or drag in to make it smaller and then you can kind of place it over the images um, in that full page PNG so that it matches up. And we're just going to do this one by one for each of the stickers. You can also delete them by clicking on the X if needed. But basically, this is kind of like the most tedious part of the whole process is just dragging in each of the stickers individually one by one. At this point, GoodNotes does not have the option to bulk load stickers onto a page, unfortunately. Um, so we may not have a lot um, in this case, or it might feel like a lot with just 40, but some of my sticker packs are like 600 plus um, 600 plus stickers so I have 600 plus PNGs that I'm pulling in it could take a, a couple of days to get those files and items loaded um, but this is basically what we'll be doing and what I find is the more you zoom in to your page the easier it is to place things so to zoom in you can just use your fingers on the screen pinch um, in to, um, to like zoom out and then um, spread your fingers apart to zoom uh, into the page. Now we'll just do this one by one for each of these stickers. Click, drag it over, and use that lower uh, right hand corner to adjust and resize. So once you're done resizing and placing all of your stickers, you can then just click under, like click on your sticker page, and then you should get the selection with the whole entire full page PNGs, and then you can just delete it by hitting the X button, and then you'll see your final stickers placed. Um, on top. And that's basically how you optimize and prepare your stickers for use in GoodNotes. Now that you've loaded all of your stickers in GoodNotes, I want to kind of show you how you can use them in your um, layouts. So I'm going to basically open up one of my other planners just so that I can show you how I use these stickers um, in GoodNotes. So I'm going to use my digital planner template um, my most recent one that I just created. I'm going to go into my monthly layout. The big thing to keep in mind when you're working in GoodNotes is that you have to have your pen function switch between editable and non-editable. When I'm in the non-editable version of my pen stylus, it allows me to basically click on the tabs that I have. Um, so to get to this, what you need to do is you'll select the little pen icon in the upper right hand corner. Um, when it has a, a slash through it, you're in edit mode. When you are, um, when it has a circle around it, you are in like selection mode. So I'm able to like click on my different tabs and it'll take me to those specific areas within my planner layout. So I'm gonna go to my March spread now I'm going to just add some stickers in here just so that you can see. What's nice is with GoodNotes, you can open up multiple tabs. So if you see my tabs here, I have a copy of my sticker page mockup open, and then I have my digital planner template open. And what I'm going to do is I am going to select some of my stickers from my sticker pages and basically add them to my monthly layout. So to do that, now we have to switch from selection mode to edit mode. So click on your little pen icon so that it has the slash through it. And then I'm gonna select my lasso. And then I'm going to use that lasso to select a sticker on my layout page. So let's start with like something simple like payday. I'm gonna circle with the lasso, hold it down, select edit, hold it down again, hit share, and then just select copy. And then I'm gonna go back into my digital planner template and using either my finger or my stylus, hold down anywhere on the page and then hit paste, and then it'll paste your items in. So I'm going to resize this down and I'm going to, if you notice that it kind of looks like it gets skewed or scratch, stretched, you can always start over to exit or just use the up and down or right side um, left to right arrows to basically kind of reposition it resize it so it doesn't look funky and then you'll want to take your stylus or your finger place it in the middle of your item and then you can move it around so in this case I'm gonna put it on my Fridays I'm gonna just hit paste again and it'll give me it again I'll just resize it and then move it 
And if I prefer, I can also um, copy this resized one so that I can share it, and copy it exactly as it is, and then paste it again. All right, so I'm gonna go back in, use my lasso tool again. And I'm going to select some of my like little reminder call tabs. So select doctor, hold down with my finger or my stylus, hit copy, go into my digital planner page, hold down with my finger or my stylus and then anywhere on the page and then select paste. And then I can resize it. And if I need to move it and I wanna move it somewhere else, same thing, I can resize it and then move it. All right, um, let's do one more. I'm gonna select my little Weekend Vibes tag. Select my lasso tool. Just draw a circle around it. It doesn't have to be perfect or exact, just as long as it's on it, that's what matters. And then either use your finger or your um, stylus and select copy. Go back into your digital planner template and hit paste. And then I'm gonna resize it. If you notice that it looks a little blurry, don't worry. It's just um, it's just good notes kind of like resing it down until it's actually placed into the file because you'll notice that once it's placed, um, it will look clear. Okay, see, there you go. And then last one, I'm just gonna add a little like paper clip as a little as a little decorative element along with some of these banners. So copy and then go back into your planner spread and hit paste. I'm gonna just like pull this over in the corner and then place it in. And then I'm gonna go into my little banners over here, like the bunting, and I'm gonna select it. The lasso tool hold down with my finger or my stylus, hit copy and then paste it in. And then you can move it. Like I mentioned earlier, what I find is that it is often easier to edit and revise and move things if you zoom in. So that's what I'm doing here. And that's basically how you actually place and use your stickers in GoodNotes.